What's going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Banholtz, back again with another awesome episode from Urban Beardsman. Hope all is going well on the other side of the Internet. Today, I want to talk to you about my diet and specifically why I don't eat red meat. So the first thing I want to clear out is that I love red meat. I absolutely love it. It is like bacon and hamburgers and steaks and all that goodness. Man, that stuff is, it's good. It's really good. So uh, I went on a plane ride to, uh, to London back in February and uh, watched this documentary on red meat. Kind of, is it healthy or not? And the brief synopsis of it is it's healthy in moderation. So like everything in life, it seems like moderation is the best way to go. But moderation is not always fun. So um, the deal with red meats is they contain nitrates. And these nitrates can't be broken down by your body. And over time, it will build up and ultimately lead to a lot of people uh, colon cancer. And unfortunately, my dad... Uh, suffered from colon cancer. And um, while he didn't get it at a young age, he, he did get it and he's dealt with it and it looks like it sucks pretty bad. So um, uh, my dad's still still with us today and he's still rock and rolling and, and fighting. So I uh, love you, dad. But, um, you know, it's kind of a risk that I don't want to take. I have options with life and I can strip red meat from my diet and uh, hopefully live a, a little bit healthier, longer life. Now, red meat, many of you guys, oh, the first thing you guys think that's not included in red meat is pig. And, and of course, pork, bacon, prosciutto, all that stuff is uh, got, um, well, it's a red meat. It's a mammal, so, uh, or it's a livestock. So it's considered red meat, even though they market it as the other white meat. And uh, really there is like a scale of levels and what has more nitrates and what has less nitrates. And pretty much, if you're going to eat red meat, my recommendation would be to stay away from the processed red meat. So that's gonna be your bacon, your prosciutto, your sausage, um, anything that comes in like a can, like a Spam. All that junk is really gonna be uh, more likely to um, damage your body long-term. Um, but if you're going to eat, stay with like the steaks and the hamburgers and just the fresh made meats and it's going to be healthier for you as well. So um, if you do eat red meats, that would be my recommendation. But really, it's your body. You do what you want. I've been eating a lot of chicken. I've been eating a lot of uh, uh, turkey. And I, I know there's some people that have been eating like uh, grounded up uh, crickets in, into like a candy bar or protein bar. I haven't tried that yet, but it's it's now that red meat's out of my my diet, um, you know I kind of got to open up the variety a little bit more. My long term goal maybe is to to go vegetarian. I think about the ethicalness of animals, and and then I think about the infrastructure required to feed livestock to feed humans, and you could gain so much more by uh, simply eating vegetables. So you guys know in a previous video I drink a lot of soylent. Soylent's a vegan based. Uh, option and it has no uh, no animal products in it as well. So a lot of my meals are vegetarian or vegan, but I do like that hearty meat-based meal as well every once in a while. So I don't know. It's your life. You control your body. You control what goes in it. You control how long you want to live by doing the things that you want to do. Take care of yourself. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Cheers. And beard on.